I've got some bad news, Better Call Saul fans. The Earth will most likely be uninhabitable in a hundred billion years. So in the meantime, let's talk about Better Call Saul Season 6. Oh my god! I love Better Call Saul. It's one of my personality quirks. Yeah, I know. Basing your personality around a TV show isn't the most riveting thing, but let me have something good in life. Jesus Christ. Um... <laughs> Fair warning, if anyone actually catches this video, which you probably won't in, like, because I, look, quite frankly, I don't even care, the YouTube channel is just for me, it's not a big grand project or anything, it's just what I want to do with it, alright, leave me alone, if you don't like it, go away, and speaking of going away, if you have not watched up until, um, season 6 of Better Call Saul, what are you doing here, get off the video, go, go watch the show, Jesus. Um, but yeah, this is just sort of a, I, I guess, it's a vent session is what it is, because, uh, the second part of the final season starts airing tomorrow, and I am just, ugh, I'm so sad, man. It was so enjoyable, the period of time between season five and season six, because I, 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 I just had this, like, thing where I just didn't stop thinking about it every day, but at the same time, I, all I thought about was the fact that it has to end. I, I'm not the type of person to brainstorm a bunch of, like, possibilities and endings and whatnot, because that stuff bores me. It really does. It, and it also drains the experience when I go, oh, my, my fan fiction didn't happen. Uh, Jimmy didn't become a, a fucking epic... Redditor, oh, god, I've really got nothing, sorry, just had a very long nine hour day of work, I'm <laughs> very light in the head for material, but, um, yeah, I really enjoyed this, the show being in stasis, and not knowing how it could end, and because of that, not knowing how it would end was very comforting, because it meant it didn't end, I didn't like the idea of it ending, and now with season six, it's, um, yeah, it's becoming all too real. It'll no longer exist soon. Exist? I don't think that's the right term. <laughs> uh, one of my favorite things was, because I work in retail, right? And I I really enjoyed being Jean. In, like, I, all I saw around me was black and white, depressing, fucking mundane life. And I won't be able to have that anymore because his story will come to a conclusion. Uh, well, maybe, I don't know, I'll still probably wander around with that dress unknown do, 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 <laughs> in my head. Um, but, oh my god, it's just like, yeah, on top of that, just not going into a show with expectations is one of the greatest things ever. You know, you know, I'm sick of, these, they were the, these cucks I came across watching, um, some Better Call Season, Better Call Season, Better Call Saul Season 6 videos, and because they spent their entire time being like, oh, next episode will probably in include this, we'll have this, I predict this will happen and whatnot, it, like, it spoils the fun because you're just trying to guess, it's like, no, go with the flow, see where it takes you. You know, don't don't try to predict it. One guy got salty at um the episode plan and execution. He was like, I woke up at 3 a.m. for it. And, uh, yeah, the title gave it away for me. Didn't like it. It's like, what? You don't get up at 3 a.m. to watch the show. Watch it when you're ready. P fucking, who cares about the, the YouTube thing? Don't spoil the show for YouTube. My God. <laughs> ah, but, man. It is, it's been quite a ride, uh, it really has. Breaking Bad, one of, one of the, um, greatest shows I've seen, which is funny, because when I started watching it at first, or before I started watching it, one, I got into it because I saw the fucking Walter White fall into the ground meme, and I'm like, why, what, what is this? Because I had no idea what it was about or anything, and I thought it was a sequel to the Hangover series, and... I'm like, oh, a show about drugs, well, I can't understand why this is highly rated, and then I gave it a shot. Very good decision I made, because that's literally one of the best shows I've ever seen. And, um, yeah, Better Call Saul, it's just, I, I think I personally like Better Call Saul more. Like, the way the shows are, they 
work so well in tangent, like with each other. They no show. I'd say no show is better than the other. They d accomplish different things and they do it well. But as a personal preference, I think I like Better Call Saul more for what it achieves, such as the fact that it being a prequel is a hard thing to be in general, but it pulls it off so fucking well. It is unbelievable. It, like, a show where I know the answers to, like, you know, things that they've set up because I've watched what came before it, Breaking Bad. And it can still shock, surprise me, make me feel all these emotions. Oh, God. Like, fucking, let's just, let's just jump to the deaths, why don't we? Who cares about all the boring legal stuff? Rah, rah. I just got finished watching this show. It's so great, but I skipped all the boring legal scenes. Who's this guy? <laughs> oh, I watched the show with my mum. And what I love about her is the fact that every time someone fucking dies, she's always like, oh, it must be a dream. <laughs> she can't accept that someone dies in this bloodshed of a show. Both fucking Nacho Varga, Howard Hamlin, straight to their, to their heads. She's like, it must be a dream. <laughs> I love it. But they are the most, like, like I. it's weird. They shouldn't be the most shocking deaths, but they are. Like, I guess because we've spent so much time with them, we care so much about them, but this was their natural conclusion. They weren't in Breaking Bad, so that's just what happens to them. But yeah, it's just, it's really fascinating. Like, like Howard, for example, I could have seen him being in the background of Breaking Bad, like, trying to take down Jimmy. I genuinely thought it until Lalo came into the apartment, and it was, I, when that happened, I was like, oh, fuck. I, like, I actually got scared. I, don't, I can't remember the last time any, like, form of media made me feel that way. Power Breaking Bad. <laughs> but, like, it was such a strong emotion, and it was just... Ooh. And then Nacho's fucking, like, speech. Fucking, finally, breaking free and taking control for just, even if it was a minute, and showing the cartel who's boss. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, his speech. Michael Mando, what a good actor. Oof. Yeah, just insane and what's like even more insane is just like how does it all end you know how does it all end like it, it can't even it can't even end there's only six more episodes left and it feels like there's so much they have to to answer and show but um i don't know just there's adverts like in, uh, on our TV. I didn't realize people in Australia actually watch the show. That that caught me off guard, but apparently it's like Australia's number one, uh, uh, not legal drama, I don't think, like drama show. But yeah, caught me off guard because I haven't heard anyone talk about it, at least not here down under. But um, a part of the advert, they have um, Mike saying his line to Gus in, uh, I believe it's episode two, when Gus wants to use uh, Nacho's dad to draw him in, to, to use him instead of just letting him run free. And then Michael, Mike, Michael, I'm not Werner Ziegler. Michael, my friend. Oh, that was horrible. Ugh, I have to cut that out of the video. <laughs> Fuck. Ah, uh, who cares? Uh, anyway, yeah, Mike's like, it's not gonna go down the way you think it will. And mum even said it to me, uh, I think earlier today, and uh, she said it to me, she's like, yeah, in the advert he says that, and it's like, Tell her, yeah, it's true. We don't know how it will end. It, like, it's just... Ugh. I don't know. I really don't know. And I like that. It it feels so much more closed in now. It's not like the wait between five and six where the, the possibilities seem endless. It's now more closed in. It's like, what could happen? How does it happen? How does Jimmy become fucking douchebag, magoosh, gag, Saul Goodman? Or is he, in the background, is he still Jimmy McGill and Saul is just a, a really good show he puts on? Francesca, what number did she get from Saul to help out with, like, with her once, um, the fucking police were onto him in Breaking Bad? Uh, Kim, what happens to her? That's embarrassing, I've got people walking by. <laughs> yeah, whatever, whatever, who cares, I'm having fun. Um... 
Yeah, the problem is, like, I've tried to go to a secluded area because my car is so fucking distinguishable, it's not even funny. <laughs> uh, yeah, what happens to Kim? Like, Lalo? What happens to Jean? It's so confusing. It really... Not confusing, I don't know. It's like, it just... I don't know. And I've really tried not to see any spoilers for it, like... Because... I don't want to, I, I really, I just want to go in as blind as possible. But the other day, I was setting up stand for my uncle because it was his birthday, and then, like, he, I was telling him about the show, and then on the front page of stand was the fucking, <laughs> was Better Call Saul. And then it started auto-playing, the, like, the trailer for the second part. I'm like, no, no, get it off! I was like, I was like a vampire to sunlight. <laughs> get it off, get it off! <laughs> and all, what I saw was the, was a black and white, image of the car park where uh, Saul's office is with the Statue of Liberty up there and a part of me doesn't know if I like if it's okay to have seen that or not you know like on one hand it makes me like so curious all I have to go off is this one image like what could what could it be like are there going to be like three episodes of Gene, just Gene? Which, because like, the way I think of that... God, I'm, I'm fucking doing the thing where I'm predicting. Ah, uh, whatever, I, this is just the only one I have. The way I see it is that they've only got, um, like the ten intros. Right? Like, the, uh, the intros, they only have ten because each season only had, uh, ten episodes, ten intros. But this one has thirteen. So, what could they do for the next three? Maybe it's for Gene. Maybe Gene gets like a three episode arc. I don't know. I really don't know because... I don't know. I just don't know and I like that. I don't know. That's just like one thing that has sat in my head for like almost a year now, I reckon. And even if it doesn't happen, who cares? Still the greatest show of all time because they'll find another way to impress me. They always do. <laughs> but um, yeah, so... I don't know, it does give me something to go off, but at the same time, like, I didn't need to see it, you know, I still would have been happily surprised. It's just interesting stuff, it really is. Um, I don't know, just, this is all I really got. I just really wanted to talk about it, you know, get it off my chest, because, man, it's gonna suck when it's over. Like, I don't know, it's just something special to me it really is i absolutely love the show every aspect of it the acting writing down to the cinematography just it's just the perfect storm and it really shouldn't have been because breaking bad was the perfect storm and like catching lightning in a bottle twice that's hard but they somehow did it and i i'm thoroughly impressed so better call saul you better better show me a good conclusion you're going to anyway we all know that i trust the writers and yeah it's, it's just just gonna be sad it will be it'll be good but sad that it's over because it's been with me for a long time now a year and a half of waiting and no more anyway ciao <clears> Ugh! <throat>